Hi there, Tanya Harris here from Slightly Greener. And today I'm gonna show you my really quick and easy DIY oven cleaner. Because oven cleaners can be full of so many different chemicals that we really don't wanna expose ourselves to. And some of them even require like kind of a burn off period to get rid of some of those chemicals. And in case there's any residue, I don't wanna be cooking with any of those. So what I'm gonna show you today is my DIY baking soda and vinegar oven cleaner. Because this weekend we did make a mess in the oven and spilled some chicken grease. So right now I'm just gonna go in there and clean it right up. So I thought I would do this quick little video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I took some of the trays out already. I'm actually gonna take this one out in a minute, but um, I didn't wanna do that on video just because I'm gonna clean all of them. But I'm just gonna take, you can see the spill here. I mean, we did a pretty thorough job. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some baking soda on here. And usually I would get those chunks out first, but um, because actually when you see pieces like, oh, it's pretty ground in. When you see pieces of charred food, those can actually let off um, dangerous fumes too when you're cooking those. So always make sure when you have an oven and you have these charred chunks of food to get that out as soon as possible too, probably before you start cooking again. Oops, it just had my face. So the next thing I'm going to do, we'll let that sit for a second just because I have a bottle of vinegar here. And what I do is I just take the cap off and I put one of my, um, anything I've had before. So this was a Castile soap cleaner, I believe, that just was empty. And I always save my pumps because now I can easily spray vinegar. Cause I use vinegar and baking soda for just about everything. I use it as a toilet bowl cleaner. Although then I just kind of pour the vinegar over. I'll do a demonstration some other time or I think I've got videos on it. Um, but for something like this, I spray it on. So I'm gonna open this back up and I'm just gonna spray. And this is my favorite part. As I'm spraying it, you can really see it start to bubble up. So I'm gonna put a pretty thick layer on there because I just keep spraying the baking soda until it kind of bubbles up and then just turns like a liquid. Now that it's done that, I'm gonna grab my paper towels, and I'm not sure if I have enough here, so I might have to go grab more. But since I do have some of that charred food, I'm gonna just do an initial, ooh, I mean, that's gross, but look at how much it's cleaning up. It's pretty liquidy, so usually you need a lot of paper towels, or sometimes I even just use some of my regular towels for the initial. And then we'll scrub a little bit. I'm gonna get that stuff off. So I've done kind of the initial one. Oh, and I got a lot up. That's really disgusting. <laughs> so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do it again, and this time I'm gonna let it set for a little bit. So again, I'm just sprinkling the baking soda everywhere in there. And then these pieces of food pretty good. Oh, there's a little bit back here. And then I'm just gonna spray it again. And then I won't make you watch this whole time, but I'm gonna keep spraying and then I will pop back in and show you what it looks like when I'm done. So I'm done. So I'll show you the final result and it looks pretty good. There's some stuff in there. We moved in here about a year ago. I just have not ever been able to get it up, but this, this is good. Um, and one thing you do want to do is make sure that you get all of the baking soda up because again, we don't want to be cooking anything in there that we shouldn't be. And the baking soda probably also isn't good. So make sure you wipe all that up. And if it's hard to get up, sometimes I've even vacuumed it out or you can spray more vinegar on it to make the baking soda foam and that'll get it out pretty easily too. And a quick word about self-cleaning ovens and why I don't recommend them and why um, a lot of people don't actually is because 
they, a lot of the self-cleaning ovens have a Teflon coating on them, which as we know can probably be a little poisonous, a little harmful. And these ovens heat up to over 600 degrees when they're on the self-cleaning oven feature. So um, I don't remember the exact name, uh, an organization in Texas, long story short, actually recommends that people leave the house. So not only is it dangerous for you, we've heard about birds being harmed by some of these chemicals and getting pets out of the house, but they actually recommend that windows be open and people leave the house also so that we're not inhaling those dangerous Teflon fumes on the self-cleaning oven feature. So I would just rather do something like this where I don't have to worry at all. I'm not using chemicals from an oven cleaner or um, using the self-cleaning oven feature with that Teflon coating. I'm simply just spraying and um, you can see it looks pretty good and it's really easy to do. So that's my tip for today. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I'll get those answered and have a great day. Thank you.